The palace was called Nonsuch, as there was none such like it in the world. Built by King Henry VIII in the late 1530s, it was designed and created to be the most fabulous of all of Henry's building achievements, and to utterly show off to Europe. My palace is sexier than yours, sort of vibe. Nonsuch was also unusual in the sense that Henry built it from scratch, rather than adding or adapting like he usually did. It seemed to follow the style of Hampton Court, with outer and inner courtyards formation, but the decor is where it properly became spectacular. Think of Hampton Court, but every turret and spire intricately detailed, all with beautiful Renaissance decorations. OTT, dramatic, beautiful, spectacular, and just a little bit too much, much like the king himself. Henry used the palace as a small private retreat where only his favourites were invited. It didn't even have the usual great hall that all houses did in those days. His plans were so lavish, it wasn't actually finished at the time of his death. Edward left it be, and Mary sold it to the Earl of Arundel. Elizabeth signed the Treaty of Nonsuch there with the Dutch against Spain. The palace came back into royal hands. The monarchs thereafter used the palace as a hunting lodge, with particular use by the Queen Consorts. What is utterly shocking is the palace's end. King Charles II had given it to his main mistress, Barbara, Countess of Castlemaine, and she pulled it down, brick by brick. She dismantled the entire thing in order to pay off her gambling debts. It beggars belief, really, that such a glorious and famous place was pulled apart just to pay off debts. As a result, there isn't anything left of the palace, only the land on which it once stood, now called Nonsuch Park. As mentioned in my Lowsley Park video, the panelling from Nonsuch was purchased for the Great Hall, where it still stands today. As for ghosts, there have been sounds of merriment and frivolity heard out of nowhere along the grounds of Nonsuch Park. Perhaps it's Henry and his mates enjoying themselves.